I was in New York City visiting a friend of mine and um, I was about to leave for the weekend and he's like, I'd rather you just stay and I'd rather you to go visit this woman named Amma. And Amma is the hugging saint. She's like, she has this amazing power to, well, when she embraces people, they feel unconditional love. And uh, when we got there, there were over 10,000 people. And I was overwhelmed at the number of people, the response, what was happening there. After we went through the ceremony, um, there was an opportunity for us to eat food. And so I got in line to eat food. It was $10 and you could pretty much get a full plate of food. It was, it was, it, it looked really good and there were a ton of people in line. So I went and got in line and I got served my food. And I went and I went to go sit down. And this is where it got really interesting because I took a bite of the food and it totally reminded me of my mom's food. And I was just blown away because nobody cooks like my mom. And I find myself with the head of Alma's kitchen staff. And so I said, so, um, what, what's going on here? Because I had this experience and this woman was so, she was so sweet. You know, of course she goes around with Amma and she's like, let me, let me tell you why. She says, based on what you ate today, every single person that interacts with the food, from the person that planted the food, to the person that grows the food, to the person that waters the food, to the person that cuts the food, to the person that makes the food, to the person that serves the food to you in your plate, every single person does it with love. And so the first time that I ate Mary's corn crackers, I had that exact experience. I like tasted every single morsel and I tasted how much love she put into every single thing that she did. If you take time and patience to eat the cracker, like, you can see every single little bit of everything that you're going to eat and then you can taste it in your mouth as it slowly crunches. You can't say that about other food. Half the time you're looking at food and you're like, what's in there? And you, and you think you know what it is. But if you read the package and it says organic short grain brown rice, I think I see some rice, quinoa, brown flax seeds, sesame seeds, you can't see the water, you can taste the black pepper, and some tamari and some sea salt. Like, you can see it. It's right there. And then you know what you're putting in your body. Then it makes you feel good.